Today's video is going to be about the scroller box. First off, before we get started, I bought this myself. They didn't send it me for free. I decided to try Scroller Box out after I watched Drawing With Waffles. She's made a bunch of videos on the Scroller Box and I thought I would try it out. So let's have a look and see what we've got. So what fell out was a, a just a standard pencil sharpener, I think. What have we got? Ooh, oh, a sticker. Oh, I forgot they give you stickers, don't they? We've got our little sweet. I forgot here. Oh, coloured pencils! Oh, I wanted some new coloured pencils. 12 Super Soft Colour Pencils by Stadler. Is that how you say it? I think that's what my, um, my mechanical pencils buy them, I'm fairly certain. Some kind of pen. Pure liquid ink. Doesn't say much more than that. I assume that's a fine liner. Got a blending pencil. Never seen one of them before. Oh, by Derwent. I've, fun fact, I've been to the Derwent Pencil Museum. I assume this is just a pencil. Oh, I like the, um, it's like a triangle. That's cool. Oh, oh, this is weird. Oh, this feels weird. Koinor White Progresso. I've never seen a barcode printed like directly onto the, that's weird. Don't know what that is. Just a white pencil, I assume. And then Burnisher. That sounds like a film. Oh, I'm thinking of Punisher. Interesting. So we've got the coloured pencils, Derwent Blender and Burnish pencils, the Mo Mobius, Mobius, yeah, the Mobius pencil sharpener. Oh, woodless pencil. That's what that's what this white one is. That's why it feels weird. These lacquer coated pencils don't have a traditional wood casing, giving you a pure stick of colour. That's interesting. And then we've got the Pivot V Ball Zero Seven Black. Ah, yeah, it's like a. I swear. Hold on. Oh, Uniball. Right, so this one's Uniball, this one's V-Ball. I recognise the ink delivery system. It's like, I'm sure I have that pen, but I don't. We've got the YPO Jumbo Graphite Pencil. Shape encourage correct grip for fatigue-free effortless drawing. And then we've got West Design Sketchbook. I don't, I don't assume they've given me an actual sketchbook, right? It should just be pieces of paper. <gasps> oh my god, that's so beautiful. Oh wow. Oh, oh right, because they said to colour it in. Yes, oh wow. <gasps> Look at that. This is by Emile, oh Christ, Emile ja 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 <laughs> Jarage? Sackums, okay, known as Sackums Online, that'll do. Works based on nature, sensuality and femininity. That's right up my alley then. She also has two colouring books. Oh, I'll have to check that out. That is just stunning. And then, so, I guess the idea is to colour this in with the pencils to try them out. That's really cool. I like that idea. This is going to be fun. Oh, so they have given me a sketchbook. Oh, it's like pearlescent purple. Oh, oh, I love new sketchbooks. So the word, the prompt word is enchantress. This is so cool. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, 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 the black. Oh, the black with colour. Oh, it's so cool. Oh my god, I don't want to break. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm trying not to like freak out, but I'm so excited. So we've got all the standard colours. I've actually got like a, a pale skin tone, I assume that's what that is. Hmm. Let's just go straight in with that, I guess. This seems weird paper for coloured pencils. Yeah, it's, it says to use this, but it's like, I don't know if you can see, it's very shiny. Hmm. I don't really feel like I'm getting much pigment out of these. Maybe it's the paper. But it does say I'm supposed to colour this in. Maybe it's just this pencil. Let's try this 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 dark blue here. Uh, this goes on a little better, I assume, just because it's a dark colour. Hmm. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Let's just get this. Yeah, you see that's going on so much easier. I assume it's just because of the way they printed it. Like they printed it on like shiny paper that doesn't have much um, groove to it. That's a bit disappointing. It would have been nice to colour this in. I am not an expert with coloured pencils like at all. Very nice colours though. I like the I like the aesthetic of them, the black with the colour. Right, so normally to blend these I would like use the lighter colour and go at it. 
But this is supposedly supposed to blend these two together. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Oh, can you see my goosebumps on my arm? I don't know what that was, but it was, it's not, oh God, it's like rough. Maybe if I give it a point. Oh, it kind of feels like a blending stump. My arms do not like this. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Ah, don't like it, don't like it, don't like it. Ah. Okay, I mean, it worked. <laughs> oh, but it was not a pleasant experience at all. Okay, anyway, <laughs> let's try. Let's try the other one. Oh, I hope I don't. Oh, I think I'm gonna get the same feeling from it. Let's lay down a different colour. Let's go with this sort of ah, this sort of green. See, it's funny. You think I'd get a similar feeling from like pencils, but I don't. So this is supposed to do what now? Burnisher is a hard colours pencil, which, when used over layers of pigment, provides a rich polished finish. Okay, it's not as bad as the as the other one, as the blender. Oh, I see what it's doing. So it's basically filling in the little tiny gaps of white left behind that's cool i like i like this one that's really um that's really nifty right i'm gonna go ahead and just give these all a quick swatch just so i know what the colors are and then we'll sort of get into the drawing bit Here's the finished swatches. They seem to almost glide on the page in a way. I don't really know how to describe it. Very nice, good range of colours, very pigmented. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, not much to say about them really. They're colour pencils, they're very nice to use. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and design something that we can colour in. So it's an enchantress. In my head, it's you've got some sort of bubbling cauldron, maybe. Enchantress. Maybe she could be enchanting someone. Maybe there's a guy sort of on his knees, like, reaching for her. Maybe she's, like, floating or something. Or maybe she's, like, leading people along. Oh, or, or I could do uh, a siren. Because that's what they do, don't they? They enchant sailors to their deaths right i'm gonna go ahead and create an artwork then and we will meet back up at the end of the video and we'll talk about well what i think about the scroller box let's go
here is the finished piece for the scroller box for the month of March. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. It's not what I initially designed, but I realised this composition worked better with one main focal point instead of spreading it out. I really like the colours. I actually really like the coloured pencils, but I haven't used colour pencils very much, so it's hard for me to really decide, but I definitely think it's worth the cost. For me personally, it's £15 with free shipping because I live in the I live in the UK. So for me it's great. I'm really glad I did it. These pencils were really really good. I really liked the range of colours. In the box we also got the sketchbook which is a lovely pearlescent pinky lilac colour. I did use this for my initial testing and um, like my thumbnail sketches and stuff and it's a nice sketchbook. I'll definitely be taking it around. Um, so these are my initial sketches. So I had the two people initially but it just wasn't working. So yeah it's a very nice sketchbook. I'll definitely be taking it out and about with me. So the other two pencils we got were the blending pencil and the burnisher pencil. Now in the menu it said that this was obviously blending between colours, that's great. And this one was meant to more like solidify the colour. I think I showed here that it's like you can see the white and then you can't, that's what this pencil's supposed to do. However, I thought I would be using this one quite a lot. But as it turns out, the blending pencil was much more useful. And in my initial testing, I didn't like it. It felt very much like a blending stump and I couldn't stand it. But that's because I wasn't using it on enough colour and that's why it felt so icky. You can see these two pencils were the same size when I got them. And that's the size they are now because I've used it so much. So it's clearly much more useful than I initially gave it credit for. So I'm definitely going to be using this in the future and when it runs out, I will get another one. The liner pen it's pretty much just a pen this is the one thing that i'm kind of confused about because it's not really like what i would call an artist's fine liner i've just gathered a few other of my fine liners that i have so i have a faber castell pit art pen a stade Stadler, I'm gonna say it wrong every time, pigment liner, which is the same brand as the pencils, and then I have the pig pigma micron pens. The Pit Arts pen is like that. Now I like this pen because it's got this like scratchy nature to it. And um, you then got the micron pen, this is in 05, which you know it's a very solid liner. This is probably my least favourite, I guess, of what I do have, but I got it because it's marketed as waterproof and it's slightly thicker. So of what was in the box, this is the only thing I'm slightly like, eh, about. I mean, I'll probably keep it and use it at some point, but I'll probably use it as a pen, not as a liner. The second to last thing we've got is this white pencil. It's not like it's, it's not like a, it's not like a white pencil that actually shows up. The only reason I think it's been included is because in the colour pencils there isn't a white pencil maybe? I honestly can't say. I put down a thing of black. It works more like a blender, like this, this blender here, it works more like that except it like lightens the area because it is technically white. I don't know, I can't really see the point in this too much. The only thing we'll, we'll say is it's quite a nice weight. Like it feels nice in your hand. So, I mean, it's cool. I just don't see where I'm going to be using it. Last thing we've got is this pencil, which I was initially worried about because when I did my thumbnail sketches, it's quite fluffy. <laughs> It doesn't really give much of a thin line, I suppose that's because of the size of it, but I personally really love this. I'm going to be using it all the time. I think I'm going to replace my mechanical pencil with it because I have a very, st not strange grip, but odd grip when drawing or writing. I tend to hold my pencil like I'm trying to strangle it and you're supposed to have much more of a relaxed grip. Well, this makes me do that because it's got the ridges to actually like hold my hand properly, which if I remember rightly when I read it, that's the whole point of it. For extended drawing sessions, this can get really, really sore. So a chunkier pencil actually helps a lot for me. All in all, I really enjoyed my experience with Scrollbox. I will definitely be getting it in the future when I can afford it. If I could, I would keep my subscription because I think it's 
kind of exciting not knowing exactly what you're going to get and it's a bit of a challenge to sort of see what you can do with what you're given. If you liked that video, give it a like. If you really liked it, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.